Hello all, in this video we are going to see how to create Informatica parameter file dynamically. Now in order to do that you should have first uh, corresponding metadata entries created for the workflows which you need to create. Uh, for example in this case we are going to create a workflow this so we have corresponding metadata entries already into this jobs under code metadata table uh, that is a corresponding session name mapping name uh, and parameter uh, actual parameter parameter values so uh, we are going to have two different parameter entries the first is uh, source connection name and uh, second is target target file name so the actual values which we are we are going to have is for source connection we are using oracle as a source connection name and the actual parameter file name is this full file name path so uh, basically using this uh, metadata entries we are going to create a parameter file and for that we are going to create uh, first workflow sorry first mapping that is m underscore param parameter like that parameter file and uh, the second mapping is basically this mapping which will pull the data from relational target into a flat file uh, sorry relational source into a flat file target so uh, let's start creating a, a parameter file mapping which will create a parameter file and which will have uh, corresponding parameter entries so the source of this uh, parameter file mapping will be jobs underscore metadata which is uh, this particular table and the target will be actual parameter file so let's create a parameter file first so, sorry param corresponding mapping first source will, as i said earlier source will be jobs underscore metadata table and underscore parameter file and target is actual parameter file let's add the expression in between all these will be input ports and we'll create our separate output ports param file change that to 500 we'll see uh, the actual parameter file entry first so the parameter file structure is something like this you will have folder name workflow name and the corresponding session name let's modify the mapping since all these are constants we'll add them in the single quotes and we'll concatenate those using pipe operator and the actual values that is this folder name will replace with the actual ports and the last is session name let's validate the expression and connect this port to target mapping create the workflow the workflow name which we are going to have is wf underscore ff underscore load disconnect connect it again We'll change the default output file path to temp underscore software under temp slash software slash param file dot txt. We'll check whether we have anything at that 
particular path so do slash tmp software start dot txt so we don't have any ok we have we'll remove it ok now we don't have any let's run this workflow so since there were two records at source same two records got inside at target Let's check the content. Okay. Now, if you check the actual parameter file, you will you will have a header he header entry here, and uh, below that header entry, you will have corresponding uh, parameter actual parameter values parameter name and uh, actual uh, corresponding value. Now, uh, see as this header uh, header entries and uh, actual parameter values are at different rows so uh, if you check at metadata table the entries which we have in there are at same row so in order to move those parameter file actual parameter and parameter values to a separate row we need to change something so we need to add ascii character of enter so that the actual parameter name and parameter value will be available at next line instead of a, instead of the same line so let's add tp connection the first parameter and parameter its corresponding value db connection source and let's replace that with port and the next parameter is target file name the output file name validate and save it refresh the workflow and run the workflow let's check the file now okay so since there were two different entries uh, for each session uh, as you can see you have two different entries for each session and for each session you have two different parameter values and parameter name and its corresponding value now let's add the session after this uh, per first parameter while creation session so so this session what this session will do is it will pull the records from source uh, which is nothing but the country's table available in the oracle database and it will insert uh, those records into a flat file however if you see the connection name which we have given over here is n is the parameterized it's not the hard coded connection you can specify the actual oracle connection however instead of giving actual hard coded value we have specified the parameter parameter entry here so uh, what basically it will do is it will read the information from this parameter file which we, which we have already created and uh, based on its entries it will uh, it will read it, it will read actual value of this db connection source and similarly this output file name and based on this values based, based on its values it will generate the target file and or it will uh, read that connection name and it will pull the records okay let's run this yeah let's check if you have okay 
ओके सो वी हैव एफ एफ अंडर स्कोर कंट्रीज क्रिएटेड जस्ट नाउ लेट्स चेक द कंटेंट ऑफ इट ओके सो यू हैव ट्वेंटी फाइव रेकॉर्ड्स दे नाउ दिस इज वन ऑफ द वे ऑफ क्रिएटिंग अ पैरामीटर फाइल यू कैन क्रिएट अ पैरामीटर फाइल विद द हेल्प ऑफ यूनियन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एज वेल और यू कैन क्रिएट सेम पैरामीटर फाइल विद द हेल्प ऑफ जावा ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन विल सी दैट हाउ टू यूज जावा ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन टू क्रिएट द पैरामीटर फाइल सो लॉजिक इज सेम basically the logic which we are uh, writing in the java transformation is to transpose columns to rows so same operation we did there earlier in the, uh, in the expression tra transformation with the help of that ascii value of of car 10 car 10 now here we'll use different approach output o underscore param file again string will be 500 let's connect this and copy the content modify this content to some extent So Java will not recognize single quotes, so we have to use double quotes for the constant, and for concatenation we have to use plus. So wherever you will find single quote, replace that with double quotes, and wherever you will find five symbol, replace that with plus sign, which is nothing but the st string concatenation. and instead of uh, char 10 we have to use generate row separate each line with semicolon again generate row and we'll add everything into a loop we'll create a for loop in cnt equal to 0 cnt less than 3 cnt plus plus loop close and we'll add a if clause if cnt equals to 1 then this else if cnt equals to sorry this has to be zero because the array will start from zero one else if cnt equal to 2 and we'll assign this value to the output port Let's compile it. Oh, we have to specify a semicolon. Have we missed anywhere else? No. Yeah, com it got compiled successfully. Okay. Mapping is in valid state. Refresh the workflow. 
since we have did the changes in this parameter file workflow or mapping just have to refresh that task let's first remove all star.txt files okay now let's run the workflow we should get similar results start workflow yeah so six six records we should have in the parameter file same as earlier and 25 records in the actual output file let's check the parameter file first less param file so okay so we have six records three records for each separate session and let's check the count of f underscore countries it's 25 yeah thanks for watching this video